Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Another Warhammer video for you. Uh, continuing the Leviathan box, we've got the Terminators here. So uh, these are the five-man monopose Terminators uh, with their little teleport homer that comes with them. Uh, those are probably some of my best hazard stripes I've ever painted, which should say something about how much I suck at hazard stripes. <laughs> but I'll take them. Um, so here, here they are. Um, these are really cool models. I certainly enjoyed painting them. They painted faster than a lot of the others because they are kind of so blocky. They don't have as much uh, little weird edges and embellishments, I think. So uh, for me, they went faster. Um, so if I figured I'd take you through what I got. Here's a sergeant to start off with. Um, and I tried to model as close as I could the uh, what the box art was because I liked the way it looked. So uh, I did add some other things like the, like the Tyranid campaign badge there, like I've like I've shown previously, right? And, oh man, I just realized. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that I screwed up. I have to keep this guy ahead. He's got a gold uh, skull right there, but look at that! I missed it on that side. How embarrassing! But I'm glad I saw it now. So uh, rest assured, YouTube, I will fix it. Um, so there's a the sergeant. Um, again with the power sword, uh, sadly not a power fist. Um, I wish these had the multi-part options, uh, but that's okay. These work really well and they're configured perfectly to pay the, play, uh, the combat patrol mission. So that's okay. Um, for squad noting, right on these, cause I, I like to put them all in the proper squads since the terminators don't really have the, uh, same iconography, right? Cause they put their chapter symbol on the on the right side, and then the left side, they just have the, the crux terminatus there. They don't have any, the traditional way to denote squad. I decided just to put it right here on the left pauldron, um, just the white, um, you know, Roman numeral. So these guys, squad one, first company, because they're, they're you know, term, in Terminator armor, right? So they, they should have that. So sergeant, um, same kind of recipe as before, you know, McCrag blue with, Draconoff Nightshade, Abaddon Black and Lead Belcher for the, you know, the black and the and the gunmetal, right? Um, shaded with Nolan Oil, of course. Um, Retribute Armor and uh, shaded with uh, Raikon Flesh Shade to kind of warm up that gold tone. The Crux Terminatus, uh, you know, Stone Crosses. Celeste Gray with Nolan Oil as a shade. So, uh, you know, the... Uh, the purity seals, right? The, the parchment is all Rikarth flesh with Agrax, and then the, the wax is a uh, screamer pink with Agrax. So and these guys just, I didn't do any you know crazy highlighting with them. I just got them to kind of, you know, the battle ready standard and didn't spend too much time because I like to paint, but I also like to paint variety. And so by the time I get to this point, I'm ready to move on to, to paint something else, so. Um, overall, they were pretty fun to paint, and I really enjoyed them. And tried to mimic the decals that they did on the, uh, you know, on the box art, right? I did not try to freehand a, a, a checker, you know, white and blue checker uh, board, right, for one of the fists. I, I was not that adventurous or caring, but overall it worked well. So... And these guys are fun to play on the tabletop too, just because they, you know, they're durable and they hit like a truck. So that's about it for them. Um, if you want, you know, certainly with them being push fit in the arms, they're good candidates to try to kit bash multi-part stuff. If you wanted, like for these guys, right? Magnetite, putting a magnet on the bottom here to turn their power fist and the chain fists. If you wanted, that would be certainly an option. Um, you know, and then, but where, you know, obviously sourcing the other parts are, is a little difficult if you can find them. You know, getting an extra storm bolter for that guy or the cyclone missile launchers and that kind of stuff. But for me, I'd probably just buy them all. If I wanted more options for these guys, I will just buy the multi-part kit and then I would have more squads and I just have these guys as a squad of, as configured and use them in combat patrol. And, and in the end, I'll have more, more models, even if it's, suboptimal right but that's okay because the joy's in the journey right it's fun to paint and collect these things so um that's all i got hope you all enjoy the video 
Um, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the work that I've done on how I did certain things or what colors I used that I didn't talk about, please PM me in the comment, you know, leave me a comment, PM me, however you want to get a hold of me. I'm happy to answer questions and happy to shoot follow-up videos if you guys have any, you know, any questions, right? You want to see something else in more detail. So if you haven't already done so, please like, share, subscribe. It greatly helps the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.